Hey guys, welcome to another video from Foolish Engineer. Last time we designed a current regulator using LM317 voltage regulator IC and current regulator using combination of simple discrete components. This time we are going to design another current regulator using transistor and adjustable shunt regulator TL431. So let's go for a ride. The very first thing we need to ask is, what is a constant current regulator? Well, any source which provides constant current irrespective of any change in output load or input voltage is known as constant current regulator. Let's see the basics of current and voltage. When we connect a normal voltage source, let's say a battery, to a resistor, then the current flowing through a resistor will be the division between voltage applied to it and its resistance. Well, this is nothing but the basic Ohm's law, right? So with this logic, the constant current regulator changes its own resistance in order to give the constant output current, which may result in changing output voltage to pump the current in the load. So, when the load current is supposed to be increased, the regulator decreases its resistance and when the load current is supposed to be decreased, the regulator increases its resistance. But why do we need a constant current regulator? Wait a minute! Well, the current regulator are very useful for driving the strings of LEDs and it is also useful for capacitor charging circuits which we need accurate timing. So let's see how we can design a current regulator. You know what, a transistor can provide regulated supply of current. We can use BJT or MOSFET depending upon the current and voltage requirement. So we can add a load to the transistor. We can bias a BJT to its base and a MOSFET to its gate. For now, we'll consider a BJT. Well, the regulators have internal feedback loops and that's how every regulator provides constant voltage or current for any input voltage fluctuation. So to gate that stability, we need to provide some feedback to any discrete circuit which will give the regulated supply. So we need to bias the BJT such that it gives constant current. There are multiple ways to add a feedback path to this transistor. Till now we have seen how we can bias a transistor using Zinodiode or another transistor to get the constant current. If you haven't seen those videos, you can check this card above. This time, we'll see the biasing of transistor using TL431 shunt regulator reference. This is the circuit diagram. If you compare this diagram with previous circuit, we have just replaced the transistor Q2 with TL431. Rest all circuitry is same. The R1 is current limiting resistor, R2 is the current sensing resistor and load is connected between collector of the transistor and power supply. TL431 is an adjustable shunt regulator reference. It acts as a programmable Zener diode with voltage ranging from 2.5 volts to 36 volts and it can be adjusted using some external resistors. Base of transistor Q1 is controlled by TL431. When the supply is connected, the current flows to R1 and it turns on the transistor Q1. The current starts rising through this branch. So the current flows to resistor R2. As current increases, the voltage drop across R2 increases. As soon as voltage drop across this R2 goes up to 2.5 volts, the shunt regulator starts conducting and current starts flowing from cathode to anode of the TL431 providing the least resistance part to the current to flow. Hence the transistor Q1 turns off. 
and current starts decreasing through the load and eventually voltage drop across R2 decreases. And then current stops flowing through TL431 and Q1 turns on again. So due to that, this circuit gives constant current output at the load side, providing TL431 as a negative feedback to the transistor Q1. We can set the current of the circuit using this formula, where Vref is the reference voltage of the TL431, R2 is the value of resistance R2. Let's see an example. The output current required is let's say 50 mA. The input voltage is 8 volts. And our load is an LED which has forward voltage drop of around 2.2 volts. Let's calculate the value of R2 which will be calculated with this formula. The R2 will be of 50 ohms. R1 can be calculated with this formula where V in is the input voltage. HFE of the transistor Q1 can be around 50 and IKA is the minimum cathode to anode current of the TL431. So from this formula, R1 can be calculated as 728 ohms. So Q1 should be powerful enough to handle the load current and power dissipation. So ICE of the Q1 should be greater than 50 mA. Now the power dissipation of the circuit can be calculated as voltage drop across the component and current flowing through it. So power dissipation across R1 will be around 88 mW. The power dissipation across R2 will be around 125 mW. And power dissipation across transistor Q1 will be around 165 mW. We need to select a transistor which can handle this much power. Let's see the simulation. This is our circuit. This is Q1, TL431, R1 and R2. We have connected a voltage source at the input. All values are based on earlier calculations. Now we will simulate this. As we can see, the output current is nearly 50 mA. If we change the input voltage from 8 volts to 10 volts, still the output current remains the same. If we add one more LED in series, which means if we change the load, still the current remains 50 mA. Well, that's how we can design a constant current regulator using transistor and TL431. There are some advantages of this circuit. This circuit is very easy to implement and it gives very stable current regulation despite of changes in junction or ambient temperature. This circuit has very low power dissipation. Well, if you see the disadvantage, Due to the discrete components, we cannot use this circuit for higher current application. Well, that's all about the current regulator using transistor and TL431. I hope you got something from this. If you haven't, you can watch the video again. Still if you don't, you can ask your doubts in the comment box below. Hit the like button if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and finally, thanks for watching.